Today they're actually for. Ah oh, man! When it comes to doing anything in life, it's always easier to do if you have the right tools. And when it comes to cleaning, one of the staples that you need to get the job done as good as possible is a nice vacuum. So today we have the Musu U1400 Plus Upright Vacuum Cleaner, which is going to help you get the job done correctly and quickly. We're looking at 20 kPa and 1400 watts of suction power, along with five levels of height adjustment for all types of floors, including carpet of all heights, hardwood, tile, and rugs. It features an H12 level HEPA filter to trap and lock in dust particles and allergens to keep the air in your house nice and clean. The HEPA filter actually is rinsable, although they do recommend replacing it every three months or so to keep it doing the best job it can do. It features an adjustable hose that actually starts at around 30 inches and stretches out to about 60 inches so you can reach it up as high as you want to clean on top of the curtains or wherever you want to clean. Behind couches, it's up to you. It's even great if you have pets so it could trap in all the dust and pet hair into the vacuum so that way your house is sparkly clean up until your pet sheds again, which is apparently all the time. They never stop! With that being said, the entire body of the vacuum weighs about 13.5 pounds, has a 23 foot power cable so you can get it all around your house without having to constantly unplug it all the time. It comes with all the attachments you expect in any vacuum and it even comes with a bonus handheld vacuum cleaner which is actually really cool because I'm not sure if any other vacuums do that. It comes inside a very nice box, very colorful. They come in at least two different colors that I've seen. We have the purple model but I've also seen a blue model so it's up to you which color you want to go with. Looking real cool. Normally vacuums are just like black or something so it's really cool to see a bunch of different colors. As you can see it is a fairly large box, a lot bigger than the other vacuums I've used. This is more of an actual full-fledged vacuum compared to the other ones that I've had where they basically come apart and they don't have as much power. So this is gonna be fun to use. Everything is very nicely packed together inside the box and we're gonna need to put this box onto the floor because it's kind of a little bit in the way. <laughs> oh, I can breathe. Inside the box we have a pet turbo brush which is gonna help you get all that pet hair and dander out of the carpet. It's very nice. We have an attachment for the vacuum to hold the accessories. The handle of the vacuum which is what you're gonna be using mostly when you're pushing it around. Obviously you know how vacuums work. A flathead screwdriver in case you need to do some maintenance. A screw in case you need to screw things. A little brush with a built-in razor blade in case you get some hair caught up inside the bristles. 30 to 60 inch expandable hose. Look how stretchy this thing is. That's... that's... This is actually real impressive. An instruction manual, an upholstery brush head, which I still have no idea what it's used for. And let's just push all of this out of the way. Because what we have next is the all important, oh, whew, mm, the actual vacuum cleaner itself. Oh boy, this thing, this is a beast right here. Of course, right here, completely wrapped up, is a 23 foot long extension cord. Very long, very nice to see. You can, of course, wrap it around the base of the vacuum to keep it all nice and in place when you put the vacuum away for storage. And of course, one of the main things about the vacuum is the dust cup, which happens to be extra large at 2.9 liters and also easy empty. Let's see how easy empty it is, actually. So right here on top, we push to release, pull it off. We got the whole dust bin completely detached, and then it's easy to empty by pressing this button right here. It opens up, dump it in, maybe shake it into the bag, close it up, and you're good to go. And obviously inside is the HEPA filter, so if we open this up, we can see how easy it is to replace and clean. You just twist it off, take it off, you can run it under some water, get the dust out of it, maybe buy a new one after three months, put it back in here, line it up, twist it on, it's locked into place, close it up, put the dust cap, put the dust cup back onto the base, and just like that, you're good to go. That was actually very simple. I'm actually impressed. It's funny because I actually had another vacuum where detaching this and putting it back on, it was a nightmare. I was like, what? Whose idea was this? It didn't make any sense. They made it easy right here. I'm really liking this purple color along with the black. It looks very nice. Very well made here. Up here on the front, like all vacuums, we have the five levels of carpet thickness and floors. So it goes all the way up to five right here. We have three, we have one, two, and four. We're just leaving on one for now. We'll test them out later. Up here on the front, of course, is the powerful brush. So let's flip this over and take a look at that. Woo! Ooh, very nice. As you can see, it, it will spiral really fast as you have power to the vacuum. And here we got the wheels. Everything is made out of plastic, so keep that in mind. I thought the wheels might be rubber, but they are completely plastic. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But they roll, and that's all that matters. Now over here on the side, we do have a hose here, which attaches right onto the vacuum, as you would expect. Locks right into place, very nice. Of course, like any other vacuum, over here on the left side is a release button. 
Over here on the right side is the power button. It'll turn it on and off just by tapping it with your foot. Very easy to do. And of course we got the hose. As you can see, we have these little clamps here. We just shove it in this little hole right here. Locks into place. As you can see, it completely rotates so it's very easy to use. Drains right into the dust cap through the filter and all that good stuff. Pretty nice. And then on this end, very easy process. You can attach the attachments like the upholstery brush, which I still have never used, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. You can do that, whatever. Detach it very easily. You can put this powerful pet hair dander attachment on right here. The bristles on here will completely spin just like the full size vacuum, although you can get deep into the couch or deep into the carpet where the pets are all the time. Take that off very easily. You can also get this tube right here, put it on here, do whatever you want. And also pretty cool, it's a tube within a tube. I've never seen a vacuum have two tubes in each other. So this is the angle tip right underneath of the round tip. And that way they're easy to store together instead of having one on each side of the vacuum. Very smart indeed. As you can see, angle tip, get into the corners of the carpet, get in the corners of the wall, maybe get inside your car if you really want to. And of course it easily just comes right off, goes back inside of this one and attaches back to the side of the vacuum for easy storage. Very nice. And of course, when you're not using the hose, instead of just taking it off, you're going to stick it in this other hole right here, complete the circuit, and that way you can leave the hose. I don't think you're supposed to leave it dangling, but you know what? I think I figured it out. We got to attach the handle. You put it on, we got to flip it over. And guess what, guys? That's what this screw was for. We put the screw in here, screw it into place. Multifunctional knife right here, am I right? Screw it in, and just like that, the handle is attached, and this way you can take the hose, wrap it around the handle right here, and that way it's completely out of sight, out of mind. Well, it's not out of sight, but it's out of the way. It's out of the way when you're not using it. Perfect, very nice, look at this. You got the whole vacuum set up, just like so. Pretty cool. Oh, look at that. I got the hose a little bit better. There's another groove down here at the bottom, one at the top, wraps around, out of the way. And you can also wrap the cable around right here. But we're not gonna do that now because we have to plug it in, of course. You see this little attachment right here? There's some little grooves right here on the handle. Just lock it right into there. Just like so. And now we could take the little pet hair cleaner. Oh, it fits right there. That's actually really nice. I like that. I knew they wouldn't just give you this and expect you to just leave it laying somewhere. That's actually really cool. Now to be fair, I'm not sure where this upholstery brush goes, although personally I would probably never use it, so I'd probably just toss it. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. If I find somewhere, I'll let you guys know, but it doesn't look like, I mean, I think I had another vacuum that had one of these. I had nowhere to put it. Oh, there's a little hook right here. So I just basically just stuck it somewhere like that and it actually kind of fits there. Maybe that's where you could put it. Pretty cool. We got everything in somewhere. Very nice. Okay, I'm, I'm satisfied. So now we got this thing plugged in. Let's give it some power. All right, and we'll see how loud it actually is. Well, there you have it. Turns out it's just as loud as a vacuum. Who would have thought? Now, right when I turned it on, I felt all the air just getting sucked up like crazy. So this thing definitely has a lot of suction power. And speaking of suction power, let's flip this over real quick. And I'll let you guys take a look at the bristles spinning around. Yo, those things are definitely spinning. They're definitely sucking. This is no joke. Now, this might be kind of dumb, but I just thought of something. So let's get the hose out. And let's test the suction of the hose, just, you know, just real quick, shall we? So, I guess we'll just leave it like this, because this is going to be very simple. We'll turn it on. Oh! Yo! <laughs> okay, that was a bit more powerful than I was expecting. It almost destroyed that pamphlet. That was insane. That was intense. That was impressive. I'm impressed. So now for the time being, let me just wrap up this cable. I don't know why, but that's always my least favorite part about vacuuming, wrapping up the cable again. I just can't get the hang of it. So now let's get this vacuum put to the side. As you can see, it locks into place very nicely. Get that out of the way. And remember, there's a bonus handheld vacuum inside the box and it's in its own box. Very cool. So let's take a look at this. 
Oh, and we got a whole new unboxing experience. We have a replacement filter, which is cool to see. Another angled head. This is kind of cool, an adjustable upholstery brush? I've never seen that before. Did that come off completely? I don't think it comes off completely, but it goes all the way up and all the way down. Very cool. A charging cable, an instruction guide, a little rubberized angled head, along with the actual vacuum, which... This is actually really cool. Does that have any charge? Yo, this is cool. I'm surprised they included this. Now, I do wish it was purple to match the vacuum, but I mean, I guess blue looks cool too. But wow, that's actually really cool. Presses button, unleashes this. We have the filter here, very easy to replace. They recommend washing this filter every two weeks and replacing it every three months, of course. Then you can easily dump out all the debris right from inside the vacuum. That's actually really cool. And this easily goes back in, locks into place, the dust cap on, good to go. Wow. Now, as far as these attachments, we can put this rubberized head right in the side. Just gotta uh, kinda just shove it in here. Just like so, and now I'm not sure what you would use this for, but you can. Definitely has some suction power. Take it back out. We can get this long head in. Just shove it right here. Still has suction power, very nice. And then of course this adjustable head. Okay, so let's adjust it down. I'm still not sure what you would do with that. <laughs> it's pretty crazy because this right here alone is a very good vacuum, so I'm really surprised it came with a full-size vacuum. Like, you get the best of both worlds here. Something portable for your car or little messes, and a big vacuum to clean up the big stuff. What? Of course, we have to figure out how loud this thing actually is. It does happen to be a bit quieter than the big vacuum. Who would have thought? But now that we got everything unboxed and set up, we're gonna actually put this thing to the test, actually go vacuum some stuff, and see how well it actually works in the real world. Let's go take a look. What do you guys think is the best cereal? I never used to like Honey Nut Cheerios, but today they're actually pretty... Ah, oh, man! This always happens to me. You know what? Good thing we have this brand new vacuum right here. But, I don't know how to vacuum, so I need you to come vacuum for me. Clean up my mess, like you always do. You coming? You coming? Yes. Finally, get over here, clean up this mess! As if by magic, the Cheerios are gone. Pretty great, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. This, uh, I, I can't even walk in this place. I need you to clean this up. What part did you not get? Get over here. Okay. So what do you think of the vacuum? I think it's wonderful. Oh, that's great, cause I got a little bit more for you to do. Oh. Let's see you take care of that. Oh. You're not a 
smart as you thought, are you? You know what? What? Why don't you try switching heads? I thought you were a professional vacuum. What is this? Oh, Secret extension. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hola. Hey, now that you mastered the floor, I got something else for you to do. What's that? You see that? Let me bring it over here to the couch and get rid of all this pet hair. Bleah. like the vacuum so far I love it all right good because Ooh. clean that up uh, 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 uh. we got this oh Too shabby. It got it all. It's not rocket science. It might be.
All right, guys, now we are back. We just cleaned up house, yes, and did it very satisfactorily, if I do say so myself. First of all, little vacuum, bonus vacuum, free vacuum. I really like this thing. It's powerful. It's good for the car. It's good for little small messes. Maybe somebody spilled some chips or cereal on the floor. Just vacuum it up real quick. Very cool. Very nice to see because you don't want to lug around the big vacuum all the time for small little messes. But when you want to clean your whole house or you do have a big mess, the big vacuum right here, this thing is on point. But what we are working with here is a lightweight vacuum that has a ton of power. I'm actually really impressed with the whole thing. The hose is my favorite part. I mean, I don't know why. Every vacuum I've used with a hose, it was maybe just because I had cheap vacuums that sucked, but this hose, it's just so satisfying to stretch. It's just so smooth. Look, look at that. And it goes between about 30 inches all the way up to about 60 inches so you can reach all the way up. Unless you have super high voltage ceilings and you might have a problem, but then again, you're getting into the ladder anyways. So with that being said, I can definitely recommend this little setup here. The price is really cheap. You get two vacuums and they're powerful and they're both good. What? I'm really impressed here. If you're looking for a vacuum, this set right here, definitely a way to go.